All right, Bang Bang. So I'm joined today by a very special guest. I'm here at the Secretary of State's office with Jesse White. Jesse, how are you? I'm doing fine, Eddie. Thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it. I know you're a busy guy. I'm telling you, we're in his office right now, and there's how many plaques are in here? Into the hundreds. It, there's, it's in the hundreds for sure. And then there's more in Springfield, right? More in Springfield, more at the Jesse White Community Center, and more at the ward office, and more down in Springfield. There we go. So we'll start with this. Secretary of State. What it, what is what does that mean? What do you do? What's like the daily? Well, for the past twenty one years, I've had the great pleasure of running the largest Secretary of State office in the United States. Corporate files and securities keep the seal, court of claims, license plate stickers, state IDs, head librarian, five thousand libraries come out of my jurisdiction. I've had the great pleasure of visiting about twenty seven hundred of them, and my mission is to help make and keep the roads of Illinois the safest ever. And every day, I work toward that end. But is it safe to say that most people, they think Jesse White, and they think of the DMV office? Some people think about my tumbling team. That and, too, And yeah. then, of course, they also think about me being in their purse if you're a woman and me being in your wallet if you're a man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, with your state ID and your driver's license. Yeah, no, and I definitely want to get to the tumbling team. But with the DMV, how are you, do you know everything about the rules of the road? No, quite, quite a few. Like, did quite, you, quite a bit. Was it like a prerequisite? Did you have to drive in one of those cars with the two steering wheels? <laughs> no. No, there was none no, of that? No, not that. Uh, do you remember what it was like to go to a DMV before you were the secretary? Oh, I, I remember it so well. When you go to the DMV, you would prepare yourself for a long wait, and people disrespected you. Yeah, why? what's up with that? Why, do, why is there a kind well, of they didn't, they, they didn't put any emphasis on customer service and treating people like they wanted to be treated. So do you ever go in there like undercover boss style, like get a mustache and like a hat and try no, to see who's no, no. being No, no, no. I visited almost every DMV every year. And uh, my mission is to help make the Roseville and the safe center, but we also want to make sure that the people who come to our 118 DMVs uh, come there knowing full well they're going to be treated in a manner which they can be proud. And there's really, I mean, there's no way to fix that, right? I mean, that's, I know in California, I think it was last year or a few years ago, I actually wrote a blog about this. They closed down every DMV in the state to work on customer service. Like, Well, we don't have to do that because uh, when I, I was a lawmaker for 16 years, the Cook County Recorder of Deeds for six, and I've served in this, this capacity for the past 21 years. And so I look back at how I was treated as a person coming into the DMV and I said to myself, we cannot operate like that. There's no way. No way. So do you ever, there's one downstairs too, right? Here in it, under your there's office? There's one here and two across the street. So is this the best one? What do you find? Like, is this one of the things where it's like- This, this, is, probably, this is probably the one of the biggest, busiest ones. The busiest one? It's like um, McDonald's headquarters. You know, they always got to make sure they got the freshest ones at that place, right? Oh, yeah. So you're always, they know, like the boss man's upstairs. Well, yeah. they, they know that I'm concerned about how you treat the customers no matter wh where I am and what facility you work out of. Cool. So like you talked about as well, the Jesse White Tumblers, if you don't know, obviously Barstool, it's a national audience. Here, it's everyone knows it. So they, it's not only the DMV, it's like you think of the color red, you think of Jesse White, you think of kids tumbling. So Yeah, I was a gymnast as a kid. I taught gymnastics in college, Park District, YMC, and I also played eight years of professional baseball in a club organization. And then during the offseason, I taught school during the day, worked for the Park District at night, was asked to put in the gym show, and that was the beginning of the Jesse White Tumbling Team. We just celebrated in December 60 years wow. of helping young people to grow tall and straight, teach them how to function properly in a uh, gymnasium setting. And I believe that when you come through this world and you become successful, you give back. And that's what I believe in. And that's what I've been doing. Nice. And it's, it's interesting. There was. Did you want to do something with baseball too? or I, I played eight years in a club organization. Mm -hmm. And then after I uh, decided that I would no longer wanted to play and wanted to do something positive in my community. Uh, I came back to Chicago and taught school during the day, worked for the park district at night. And uh, as it turned out, I was asked to put in the gym show from the one gym show in December 1959, came to Jesse White Tummy Team. We do about 1,500 shows a year. We turned down about 300 requests. Can I put them into a schedule? Wow. And our young people have to 
be in school on time every day and have one aim in mind as to get the best education possible. They cannot dislike anyone because of race, creed, or color. They have to be leafless, smokeless, and pipeless. The only time they can practice pharmacy is after they've earned a white coat. You know what I'm talking about. No <laughs> drugs. Yeah. No, I got I mean, it's legal here, Secretary. Oh, I, I know it is, but they cannot participate they in it. They can't do it. I got you. Gotta, and so keep the role. Uh, I have 225 young people that make up eight units, and uh, we do. On the 4th of July, we'll do about 42 shows in and parades. And, and how do you get on? Like, do you do you sign up? Do you, do you Is there cuts? Are you there putting a list on? Oh, yeah. We have um, tryouts. Okay. And then after they complete the trial portion, then, of course, we have a training class. Three hours of training, two days a week at one location. And same thing holds true at my center, which is called the Jesse White Community Center and Fieldhouse at 412 West Chicago Avenue in Chicago. Oh, wow. And that's like, and you do anything from Cubs games to fundraising events? Like, what's the... We we do a lot of elementary schools, high schools, colleges, universities. We've traveled all over the world. So I go out to Croatia, Belize, Israel, China, Tokyo, Japan, Hong Kong, wow. Honolulu, Hawaii, Olakai, Hawaii. It goes <laughs> on and on. As I said before, I believe that when you come through this world, you become successful, you get back. But every day you have to and you must do something good for someone. So, I mean, so what's that like for you? I mean, it's the Jesse White tumblers. Are so it's so Chicago and it's so, you know, woven in the fabric of this city. It is, it is like the Cubs, the Bears, and it's, you guys are like an organization who you think of. Like that's obviously something I assume you take great pride in, huh? I, I do. And I just want these young people to experience performing with the team. And then I want them to go off into the world and do something wonderful and beautiful for someone else. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome, Secretary. What's What would you say is the number one thing people come up to you and say? Like, oh, there's Jesse White. Where they say, hey, give me my license back. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get a ticket scratch? Like, what's the number one thing? Well, sometimes they, they talk about, about the price of the tickets, and I have to remind them that uh, I don't have anything to do with the price of the tickets. The, the state, state representatives in this in the and the senators and the governor, they set the rate. Okay. I'm only the the messenger and the collector. Probably the red light tickets too, huh? Uh, we don't deal with the. Oh, red that's light not tickets. you. No, that's good. That's nice. At least you don't got those people on your back. But, but, those are but, but whenever someone is suspended, they get a note, and on the note, my name appears. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's what they know. And uh, what's the, what's the number one suggestion? What do people say? Hey, you know, you should really, you should really do this. The number one thing that they say to to me, and that is, we're honored to have you as a Secretary of State. No longer, when I come to the DMV, do I have to bring my sleeping bag, duffel bag, or lunch pail? And then I'm treated in a highly respectful manner. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got you. Because that's, I mean, all the, uh, and actually that, that brings me to the next thing is, uh, this is almost just a PSA, because I feel like everyone needs to know and no one knows what's going on. What's going on with the real ID? It's going quite well. Yeah. As a matter of fact, today has been set aside for uh, us in the, the Chicagoland area to work on strictly the real ID. And the real ID is an outgrowth of 9-11, where all of the states through Homeland Security have been asked to recertify all of the drivers and all of the people who want to fly on an airplane or go into a military or federal facility. But one thing I didn't realize, if you have a passport, you're okay, right? Sure, if you want to use your passport, you're fine. But if you want the real ID in conjunction with the passport, then, of course, you know, you come with the proper identification. Two letters. To a lot. You okay. need everything. You well, need... It's, it's two in each category, like your passport, your you're military card. Your baseball team. <laughs> everything. Your baseball card will work. <laughs> exactly. No, that's what I'm saying. No, there's a lot that's going on. But it's. I don't. I feel like a lot of people are kind of waiting and waiting, but – I mean, the, the lines are out the doors. It's, it's definitely something that people want to get Well, that's started. why we set aside today where we are working strictly on the real ID. Okay. Because October the 1st, if you don't have it, you cannot fly domestically. Uh, you can use your pass, passport and fly domestically or internationally. But you need the real ID if, if you want to fly anywhere in the United States or if you, by chance you... Uh, you want to go into a federal complex, a, a military base, a federal building. You're going to need it then. Yes. No, yeah, that's it's definitely. And it's, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I got mine. My sister was, was on me, secretary. So <laughs> she made sure I made sure I got it. Well, you know, you, your sister is one of the 
best of the brightest, one of the sharpest knives in the drawer. Yeah. So if you don't know, my sister is, what's her title? I don't want to get it wrong. Well, she's, she's the mistress of, uh, of <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's the mistress of uh, communication of the secretary of state's office. All right. My sister's a mistress. Now I know. That's good to know. Her you know, husband may have a problem with he that. May, he may. He may. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, what's, uh, I, I need a little sensitivity training. <laughs> no, you'll be all right. This is a perfect platform. So what's the secretary? You go down the capitals in Springfield. Where's the secretary stopping? What gas stations do you like? <laughs> you like a Dairy Queen? You know, what's where do you stop? Well, at? McDonald's. McDonald's. All right. That's, that's my favorite location. Okay. Because McDonald's is also one of the sponsors of the Jesse Ray Tumbling team. Oh, there you go. So we have uh, two members of the security uh, division who will transport me from here to probably Pontiac. And then I'll have the Southern Detail, two gentlemen to pick me up there and take me into Springfield. Wow. So it's it's a real deal. It's a real organization. And what about when you do the Illinois State Fair? Well, the Southern the southern Detail takes care of that. There you go. What's it like to have a detail? Did you ever think like years ago, like you'll have a detail? I never thought it was going to happen. I never thought I was going to become the Secretary of State, but <laughs> through hard work and commitment, when someone says to you, you cannot achieve, uh, my attitude is, watch me. There you go. Someone says, I cannot do something. Watch me. There you go. And you're the longest standing one, right? Three things. First, uh, African-American to ever have this office. The longest serving. And I received more votes than anyone in the history of the state of Illinois. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, it's, uh, and I have you, three more years. You have three more years. And, and I'm going to continue to to do my community service work with the young people. So that's it? Three more years and out? That's it. That's it. All right. Well, if you understand how what I've done, I was a lawmaker for 16 years, the Cook County Recorder Deeds for six, Secretary of State for 21 years, professional baseball, the cover organization for eight, 10 years in the military, two jumping out of perfect good airplanes, 35 jumps, teaching school for 36 years, and uh, being a reservist, uh, Paratrooper, active duty, and um, the coach and founder of Jesse White Tumman team for 60 years. <laughs> yeah, so just a I've been, whole. I've been pretty busy and I've enjoyed it. You've been around the block, Jesse, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, that, that, what did, what do you, what do you want to be remembered? At? Like, what, how do you want to be remembered? That someone helped me when I came into this world. It's important for me to reciprocate. There we go. Do something good for someone else every day that's how i run my life there you go and i also want you to know this too i teach my young people to, to never ever dislike anyone because of race creed or color that's the ugliest kind of deck cannot play that one yet be a part of anything that i'm involved with there you go that's a strong thing to live by for sure and I, I i'm red white and blue throughout there you go and i and i will end with this jesse uh your favorite governor you've ever worked with J.P. Pritchard, the governor that we have right now. Real, be, being honest? I'm being honest. All right. Yeah, J.P. Pritchard. All right. And yeah, so, I've known him for about 35 years. Oh, so you've known him for a long time. Oh, so this yeah. goes back. This isn't just uh, in the now answer. That's, that's exactly right. All right. All right, Jesse White, is there anything else you want to get out there for the people? Well, if you uh, – I, I just believe that we should do all we can to make this world a better place to wish to live. And I want our adults and young adults to do all they can to make their community a good place to be. And that's why I say get close to your kids, get close to your family, get close to uh, your school, and above all, do something good for someone every day. When you do those things, the more society is a better place for all of us. I like it, Jesse. Do something good for everyone, someone every day. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. As they would say in my neighborhood, Eddie, you're the man. <laughs> you're the man. Thank you so much. That's it for today, everybody. Uh, we will catch you next time.